Dale Earnhardt passed away at the track that he dominated. He won 12 twin 125 races, seven Bush races, six Bud shootouts, six IROC races, two Pepsi 400s, and one very memorable Daytona 500 three years ago. No other driver has even come close to his dominance at Daytona. One of our former ESPN colleagues tells a great story about Dale Earnhardt. Last year, the man in black was being interviewed on a rather serious topic, something about happy hour speeds or his qualifying effort that weekend. And while the reporter was attempting to maintain a calm demeanor, Earnhardt was very subtly out of camera range, stomping down hard on the reporter's foot. He had a mischievous side, something that few of us ever saw. And we celebrate that aspect of Dale Earnhardt with this look back an interview he did with Kenny Mayne a couple of years ago after he finally won the Daytona 500. The good news is you won. The bad news is they took your car away, right? That's fine. They can have it. We'll build a brand new <laughs> 31. This 31 race is better than all of them put together. I want to better say, than all of them. How about the SB2 engine? I just it's wanted to awesome. just to that, justify that my Monte position. That Monte Carlo over there, that new, brand new engine, come out with a brand new engine, come there and win the Daytona 500. That's what I've been needing all along. But the broken push rod yesterday afternoon had to be a little concern. It was a concern, Benny, but it was our fault that it broke. Oh, it right. was not the engine. It was our fault. We did something when we was pumping the engine. Thing, they, Spinny Clinton and the guys, they said, hey, we got a good engine, we got a good engine. They had a good engine. It's going to be in the museum for a year. <laughs> <laughs> you had so many emotions at Victory Lane. I heard you talking about your dad, oh, how special it was so your many. dad, and, and T. Wayne Robertson you missed, and, and Neil Bonin. I mean, so many people you'd like to be able to share that with. That's true. Ralph Earnhardt, I know, has got to be smiling. The gods have smiled down on us today. I mean, all of them. Like I said before, all the fans giving me, you know, this is your year. Hey, Ralph Earnhardt, Neil Bonin, T. Wayne Robertson, all for you guys. Hey, what do you do after this? Obviously, tomorrow is the big ceremony, but are, are you going to be appearing on some shows if the, well, the calls already flooded you know, in? If they book, you know, book us, we may go on Oprah or whatever, but you know, I don't know. We, we're <laughs> we're going to go do uh, Daytona USA tomorrow and uh, put the car in the museum. Uh, Tuesday, I'm going to L.A. and do a, a new movie. I'm in a movie. Yeah, Gordon's You're not in a movie. I am. <laughs> <laughs> uh, whatever you want, you want to be in the movie? But yeah, I'll go with you. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna have a big uh, week. I'm sure we're gonna get on. Maybe get on Lilo. Who knows? I'm gonna go to California. I'll just call him up. That sounds like a lot of fun. We got a race to get ready for too. Rocking him. That's uh, Friday. I'll be there. Just gonna show up Friday. You got yeah, some other things to do in advance of it. <laughs> Going to California, shoot a movie, be on Lilo, do this, do this, do that. What's the movie? Oh, it's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> but you're already thinking about Rockingham. You mentioned to me just a moment ago that you're going to go to Rockingham and win number two of the season. That's right. Uh, we got a good uh, combination for there. Uh, the spoiler change, I think, is going to work for us and work with us. And uh, I think the Taurus is going to be uh, strong there. I really do. So uh, we're going to we're gonna work cut out for us. We'll go out and win it. But the Daytona 500, guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dale, this morning we said the three things you wanted to, you wanted before your career was over was a Daytona 500, which you got today, at eighth championship and the most popular driver award. And I said if you won the 500 today, you're well on your way to, to number two and number three. How about it? That's true. And uh, the championship, I tell you, the 50th anniversary of NASCAR. Who would have believed I could win the Daytona 500 and the 50th anniversary of Daytona, our 20th year here, we're going on win that championship. Heck with a popular driver. I'd rather be a champion. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's certainly a popular choice all around America. They all appreciate you very much for coming on and spending you, time with us. Thank you, guys. All Thank right. you. Dale. Congratulations. Let's go to Rockin' Him. Dale Earnhardt leaves behind his wife and four children, ranging in age from 12 to 31, including his sons, drivers, Carrie and Dale Jr., who runs number eight in honor of his grandfather. Dale Earnhardt, husband, father, champion, dead at 49. All right, that's on ESPN2. ESPN Classic next Saturday, 12 hours of Earnhardt. That's next Saturday. I'm Whit Watson. Thank you for joining us. To Dale Earnhardt's friends and family, peace.